<laughs> with designersgate.com uh, forward slash blogs and this is my second tutorial in about 10 years uh, of absence <laughs> in the tutorial business and here I'm gonna show you how to make your YouTube videos responsive to the screen resolution for example I can show you an example of this this is this perfectly uh, measured by the 16 by 9 uh, ratio of the widescreen and if I change that object on the on the code that I wrote I change it to show up in standard version 4 by 3 You will see that the aspect ratio changes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, with plain JavaScript. If you want to know how to make it on um, how to make it on jQuery, I have on my blog. <laughs> I'm on on the administration area on my blog. You visit designersgay.com blogs and you go to tutorials there's one that is called making your videos responsive to screen resolution with jQuery you click there and you will see uh, all the structure on how to make it on jQuery at this time in the video I just want to make make it on JavaScript so this is what we have this is what I have now in the new clean version of this and I'm gonna show you how I did this resort and it's quite simple it's pretty simple probably in, in 40 lines of code or less or less um, let me select this all right let's start cooking <laughs> so here I have just a basic HTML page not much to it um, I don't I only I don't even have J jQuery attached to it. I just have my YouTube video of the tutorial that I selected in iframe and that's it. I have the header that say making your YouTube video responsive. That is that's what it, you said here. So because this is not an HTML uh, tutorial, I, I, I hope that you have a little bit of knowledge on JavaScript on HTML so I'm gonna make this video this is the the default for YouTube to show the videos so I'm gonna make this iframe to recognize with JavaScript the size of the screen and uh, adapt to it so that's what it means that it's gonna be responsive so let's start cooking this code uh, we're gonna create two different uh, functions why because I want to have the options an option that I can pass the value of the in a specific uh, element or just let the JavaScript search for all the all the um, or the iframe objects so but now I'm gonna work on this sorry I get distracted with something and here it is this is our basic responsive aspect ratio and make sure that I don't I don't, I don't put ration <laughs> that I constantly making that mistake so we're gonna pass or probably not pass any value so I'm gonna have that just in case we're gonna call the same the first variable e and we're gonna give a default value of so false or r equals false that's gonna be this gonna be the element object element uh, let's put dumb element and this is going to be the ratio style so style e 
either STD or WS for widescreen, standard or widescreen. And the default will be widescreen. So we also gonna pass a variable precise false. This variable will will tell will announce the object either a single or array. So now if object is not undefined define will be the default state uh, we're gonna populate this if e if it's something else than false if e in this case obj e is not equal on the fine then e will be all equals object e and the same thing let's copy this we'll go with r ratio <clears throat> and if e is set, is set then precise through there you go so I'm just uh, creating the default values for this function and now bar element will hold the object itself if e then it will be I'm gonna get the ID of that object then we say document get element by ID and B e. else document find get elements by tag name In this case will be iPhone. jQuery makes it more easier, but as I said, I'm going to make it all JavaScript. So this is where we set our element. Set element to be modified. There you go. Now, if precise is true, <clears throat> we're going to do something here do something else so that something will be the next function update ratio and we're gonna pass the element and the ratio style and for if it's a, a list of items an array bar equals I I'm element length i plus plus so a simple for statement i don't use the for i in element because that sometimes return errors for example if you use it with each of jquery uh, it will return you all the functions of jquery i don't know why it behaves like that but just in case, just leave it, use that. Now, we're gonna filter that it will only run with any element. Whereas the source, it has YouTube on it. Ratio element R. There you go. <clears throat> now we probably might want to have that the service type service equals 
YouTube. So we can modify that too. So we say Then we set the variable service, so we can modify that. And also, let me change something here that is gonna return an error. So we're gonna look for that element, this element one, for each of the elements that this we return if E is not, is false. So with that done, then we need to create the function Remember to save your code every other time. Uh, update ratio. And with that, we need to get the element and the ratio style. Then we're going to set. Let me make sure that I have everything that I need in here. All right. So now we had to find first the parent of the element, either the body or a division or whatever other object and you set as a parent of the iframe. So we're going to create a variable that will hold that object and we set element that is this, this element and we'll going to look for the parent node all right so that's the way jQuery this is a uh, equivalent of jQuery uh, let's say element parent now after that we need to set the max width what width actually the the parent has after the page loads so it will fit on the screen so now we need e parent offset width and that would be the equivalent in jquery like e parent width Now, also, we need to calculate the ratio, and we're going to use the value of the ratio variable. If ratio is set and ratio equals std, that it would be other than the default, then change the ratio value to 3 over 4, 3 fourths. Or stay uh, on the standard. The default will be 917, and that's for the ratio of 4, 3, and that would be standard, S standard, ah, standard, <laughs> and 16, 9. For white screen or letterbox, however you know it, then we're gonna get the final height, and that would be max width by a ratio. So this by this. Now let's populate that element style so the element will receive a width we want to make sure that the width is always 100 percent and the element style height equals final height plus Pixel. And this is the jQuery uh, equivalent for 
uh, jQuery element CSS and let's say width 100% and height that done the way we can use this is just taking the iframe this is the frame that I get from YouTube uh, for example let me show you for example if I come to, uh, to YouTube and say share the, the share the video it will give me sure this video embed I'm gonna select embed I'm not gonna use the width and height so and also I don't like to have the suggested video if it's on my website I don't mind in YouTube but not on my website um, so I copy that and paste it on the code and here it is but what I'm gonna do let me clean this a little bit more so it looks decent I'm gonna add an onload attribute for, to call the JavaScript function that we just create to make sure that I don't make an error on typing error due to that I have the gift of dyslexia. There you go. Now let's try that. Let's go to our Chrome responsive and refresh that. Oops, uh, apparently there's an error. Let me check what error. Another three errors. And line 29, my unexpected identifier. So I forgot to put the question mark on here. So let me make sure that everything else is working as expected. Save it again. I don't see a, another error. Probably it will show up here. And there it is. We got a responsive YouTube video. Isn't that great? Now I have the same uh, code for jQuery. Remember to go to my blog, designersgate.com blogs and go to making video responsive screen resolution jQuery. And you will have the same. This one, I like it better. It's, it's more easier to develop and is you can use all the power of jQuery like animate and all that so and also you can run it on onload and that's something that I need to show you the equivalent of, uh, of document you know that you know that in jQuery if you want to jQuery say document this is the equivalent of onload ready you create a function and that would be the equivalent of onload but if you want to run that as soon as the page onload not waiting for the you can run this because either way it's going to look for the element can delete this so we can make sure that that will be working on the unload we're gonna look for the page again and, and that is the, and that's what it is well I hope you enjoy remember 
if you like my tutorials please go to designersgear.com and like my page and also visit us on Facebook uh, Facebook I'm gonna make sure that I give you the right address go to Facebook and my page designersgear.com just go there and like it I just opened it uh, not not long ago and I would love to have you here this will give you ideas and uh, sometimes I put small pieces of code or I refer to to a new a new tutorial that I have also if you come here to designersgate.com blogs you can go to the home screen and in the home screen you have something that says subscribe if you subscribe to the web from my web or my YouTube then you will receive uh, every, every time I upload a new a new uh, a new tutorial you receive a, a nice beautiful email saying there's a new <laughs> there's a new tutorial on designerskate.com blogs and as you see I have a couple of, of tutorials there if you're if you wanted to enjoy it's a little bit more of that there is I hope you have enjoyed this I hope to see you soon and remember to like our uh, our web page also if you are a fanatic of Ubuntu that's the operating system that I'm using and you're new with in web developing you can go to amazon.com and look for my book how to set up install Apache my SQL and PHP Ubuntu and if you want to help me with some uh, if you want to help a little bit of me let's become books Apache let me see what you can put in 12 10 go and here is my book just put Apache my sequel my sequel PHP Ubuntu 12.10 and you will have it's gonna be the same I I use it again on on this new build of Ubuntu 13.4 uh, so it will be good and you can either Kindle edition or paperback I would appreciate and that will help me a little bit of with maintaining the web pages and buy me a coffee a healthy coffee well thanks a lot I hope you have enjoyed this uh, I hope uh, if you want to see how this works let's say uh, let me see what's the, the smaller screen uh, this is not working all right here it is that's a small screen of a uh, uh, cell phone so you see how the video adjusts to the width so I hope that it's good for you and if, if it helps you in any kind go remember to go to designersgate.com blocks and also if you want to help me a little bit more directly go to designersgate.com designersgate home and ooh, this is broken this would be to give us a nice paypal um, gift will really appreciate it thank you for watching happy coding
and see you at the top of the world. Bye bye now.